welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to give you some bougie ideas for craft cocktails for the holidays. Um, today we are going to be using Tito's Vodka. I feel like this is one of the most popular vodkas in America right now and you will find it at any and every bar and pretty much every grocery store across the nation. So I'm going to go ahead and hand it off, take it away. Yeah, I, so this is really basic cocktail. So we we picked a popular vodka to use for this, and um, what we did here is took a your basic store bought cranberries and just kind of a maceration simple syrup creation. Uh, so we we took the we took the cranberries um, just like we were making basic simple syrup, half sugar, half water, uh, but instead we added cranberries to it. So it has just like really kind of tart, sweet, awesome taste to it. And it's such a basic cocktail. The only thing we're gonna do to kind of turn it up is add just a little bit of candy cane rim to it. Simple, basic, super fun for your family, super fun for, uh, when people come over your house, uh, you can get three cups of those cups, so. There's the candy. It's a shaking cream, we're gonna serve it up. And as always, we're always going to free pour because that's how we work. And if you need to learn how to free pour, we can certainly teach you. But we always use a three count for this. So one long count, two, three. So my three count might that be is a little very handy door. Yes, ma'am. Might be a little bit more than a three count. And so we have our cranberry simple. And if I could pour this into a jigger, I certainly would. But unfortunately. Um, I'm going to eyeball it. I'm going to do about an ounce, an ounce of the cranberry syrup. We're not going to add uh, any triple stuff. We're not going to add anything uh, else other than vodka, cranberry simple syrup. It would be sweet enough. We don't want any overs. Um, and again, this is going to be a shake and drink, if you don't mind. While she is shaking, I'm going to take our martini on a pre-made Two day pack, all you use is with a uh, paper towel um, with this cranberry simple syrup that I just put on top of it. And then we're going to use our crushed, uh, our crushed candy cane. I think we're going to overshake this out. So we use our crushed candy cane. And if you look at it, there's not candy cane all over the place because we don't want to overdo that. We don't want to overdo it with the, the candy cane. That would just to totally overfeed the drink. Comes out and beautiful, it's a beautiful color pink, too. Gorgeous, perfect amount. No other garnish is needed other than a perfect candy cane. Candy cane. Except I'm gonna bring it. You know what? It doesn't matter. It's still a beautiful drink. It'll make everybody happy at home. So hope you try it out. Look forward to your comments and um, and, and your feedback. If you could do it better, we'd love to hear about it. And always drink responsibly.